Good morning, guys. Good morning, David. Good morning, Dave. You, are you guys just not awake? Like, Dave, you were awake like five seconds ago. What what's, happened? What's being, Did you die? <laughs> what's being awake? <laughs> ooh, 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 Curtis, what are you drinking before we start? Water. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's pretty, Water. That's pretty basic, bro. Hey. Coffee. <laughs> Coffee's better. Oh, I could use some coffee. I don't know if I should mix I, it. I don't want to mix this with coffee. That's my actual concern. That's like that's mixing Coke with coffee. It sounds terrible. <laughs> Welcome back to the Snack Network. This is Beverage Buddies. I'm Dave Moore. Joining me, of course, are my two best friends, Electrical Engineer by Day, Jeff Daly by Night. Hi, Jeff. How's it going? I'm Electrical Engineer to you right now. Yeah, how's it going, Dave? Oh, you, you know, I'm, I'm asleep. Uh, also joining us is Curtis from Backlane Films. Hi, Curtis. How's it going, Dave? <laughs> um, guys. I legitimately had to read how to open this. Th- this is where I was going to go first. One, I'm too asleep to figure this out. Um, There's instructions on the side. There is? Yes. Please read. Designed to can. give you... It says on the side, designed to give you an edge, accuracy and alertness. I don't know why they throw in accuracy and alertness for no reason. It, it essentially, it's... essentially, hello, good morning. This is a test of your energy. This will yeah, actually much. wake you up. Like the way that you should like wake up and do like a crossword puzzle. We're going to make the top of this can really hard to read. Hi, guys, we're doing Gamer Fuel. From, gamer Fuel. From Mountain Gamer Hill. Fuel. The original oh. flavor. Whoa. <laughs> gamer Fuel. <laughs> Oh, it's game fuel, not gamer fuel. Okay. Charge but, um, original do. But no, I, I, I kind of looked at it, and my everything that I know in my life, I looked at this lid, and I'm like, oh, pull the big one. No. Because that's what I was like, oh, that's what you're supposed to do. No, you pull the little one. The little one that says open. Pull the I li- didn't read. Pull the little one towards me? I feel like I'm going to struggle. Oh, God, it's even on the top Just of the can. It. It's yeah. like... It's like inscribed. Like, All right. If your can needs instructions on how to open it, you're doing there, something wrong. There's so many instructions for this, but I understand. Like, it's meant to seal it. Like, you can reseal it. I know, but did that's bro- kind of cool. Did I, bra- this- did, did I break it? I hope oh, not. Gosh, Dave. <laughs> All right. Are we, we going to open it, Dave, or, or are I'm we going to talk about it? I mean, uh, this is really it. Was is I this was- just going to taste like Mountain Dew, but with energy? I think so. Oh. I think this I... thing also has, okay, as Dave breaks everything, it has uh, a lot of different flavors in it. This has white grape juice in it, which is interesting. Ah! Oh my god! Am I supposed to drink it out of the out of the small? Okay it just over there, sprayed all over my face. <laughs> my pop is far away oh, from me. Then okay, Jesus wait, Christ. hold on. Am I supposed to drink it out of the small end? Yeah, no, so you slide you it pull back. Up, pull it. Pull, slide it back. And then you slide it. Oh my god, I'm so confused. It's kind of interesting. Uh, this is my first uh, experience with these slidey lids. Yeah. Um, I definitely get what they're doing. Are you having troubles? I definitely broke it. Why? I don't know if I can show. No, this. that's right. No, that's right. Then you slide. Then you slide it. Turn it around. No, hold it. Yeah, and pull it towards you. It slides okay. towards no, hold, you. Hold on. It's it's overflowing now because I tilted it ever so slightly. Yeah, it sprayed in my gosh darn face. Yeah, I did too when I opened it. Okay, so wait. I open up the small side. Good, Dave. Here, let me see if I can get close enough. Okay. You open up the small <laughs> side, and then you push it towards where this, that opening is now. Like, you push it towards the, where you pulled up. Did it work? Uh, I mean, it moved. Ooh, one thing that's kind of nice. Just I think, random thing. I, are you the sure opening. these little plastic tabs aren't supposed to, like, have held it in place more? I, I read feel... the instructions three times. I feel like... I... Times on the can. Let me see what you're doing. Let me see, see what you're doing. Yeah, I'm yeah. Just gonna, it's just going to explode. That, yeah, you got it. Okay, you got, got it. it. Don't, don't tip it. But drink so you see it. it's a big it. opening now. Yeah, you see the big opening? Oh, look on the other side, Dave. The just other side. It. Okay, wait. So pull it back. Oh, yeah. it opens up ever so slightly on the... Oh, that's yes. awful. That is awful design. Hi, Mountain Dew. Um, this is the worst thing about this already. Well, Dave, you gotta understand, <laughs> like, th- this is not designed for you. This is not made by OXO or anything like that. This is made for, look, uh, your average human being who does not have any sort of disability. 
We'll put it that who, way. Who cannot? Who, who can, the average like, human being could, have trouble? Who has no trouble? Oh, yeah, I, I had who trouble has no trouble that. seeing it at all? Um, this my is, issue with this is like if you think about this, like anyone with any sort of impairment at all of is going to struggle with this. Of any kind. Could you imagine having like a motor function impairment? Oh, screw this. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. No, this is awful. This is an awful design. I'm not going to give them slack for this. I'm not going to. I'm not going to be like, well, see, I have a vision impairment, so. Therefore, I can just justify the stupid. Why? Why would you make such a horrible design? It's awful. It's, you know, why, it is... If you want something with a resealable lid, why don't you just get a bottle? We have screw tops. <laughs> <laughs> also, a fair point, Jeff. Yeah, like we just have a bottle. We have, we have options. We have or like at least with a a regular pop top. They actually make uh, motion impairment and visually impaired devices that you can just like. Yeah, that it. you can learn how yeah. to pop up a tab. Like, there's no way to make this easier. Absolutely no way. But um, one positive about it being like already pre-manufactured uh, as like an opening, the opening actually is not sharp. So like, no, I can stick is... my finger in there. Unlike when I was a kid, you know, you stick your finger in a pop can because you know you're an idiot. And it slices you open. You know, the amount of times you do that in your life are insignificant compared to the amount of stupidity it took to open this can. Oh, yeah, yeah so. I don't get it. I mean, now that I know how to open it, I could do it. But the thing is, like, I, I could understand if somebody had any sort of disability, like, this would be a serious of struggle any, if you wanted to try this. Of any kind. Literally of any kind, there would be a struggle involved. I guess they're trying to go to a certain demographic. Of who? That, the like, gamers? The, the epic gamers or something. It's like they assume that none of them have any sort of impairment. And it's like some of the most intense gamers out there have some severe disabilities. Like, why don't you cater to your audience? Oh. I just don't understand this can at all. If you push that enough, it actually clicks in place. Yeah, if yeah, I saw that too. And you can actually reseal it. Like, it's, yeah. it's a cool idea to get a resealable can... But you're you're putting plastic on a metal can. If you're gonna utilize the plastic, just get make a bottle. I know. Have yeah. you ever seen an energy drink in a bottle though? Probably you can't. It probably eats through the bottle. <laughs> just, just throw it. Oh god! Is yeah. That how we recycle plastic nowadays? You just dump an energy drink on it. It just fizzles into nothing. Oh. All right. So has uh, anyone smelled this yet? No, I no. haven't. <laughs> After we've given them so much shade about the can. I'm going to give them shade about the can every time. Okay, I, I'm going to pour this into a little cup because I can't really smell anything through this little hole. It also just smells like Mountain Dew, kind of like a like a normal Mountain Dew. So now, who came up with this? I, so, I, so here's, let's here's a question. A tab. Here's the it question. smells like Mountain Dew. Here's the question I have, okay? Um, I had gamer fuel in my life one time. You, oh, oh my that, God, look at the color. It is, that it is, is Mountain Dew. Um, it, it looks a little bit more uh, shiny, and know? it was like it's a little bit more intense. It oh, was yeah, go it, on. It was not in this kind of can. It was. I swear to God, it was just a a flavor of Mountain Dew. It I, was yeah. just flavor. And so, what are these? Are these these are just a whole other thing. Yes, these are like we like the name of that flavor so much. We're gonna make an energy drink out of it. And the <laughs> and the flavor that that I remember does no no longer exist. No. And they just no. they just sell code red, which I think is probably the same flavor. If code red and like a bunch of other stuff now too. Oh yeah. Is that is that how it is now? I don't I don't actually know the history of what happened, but I feel like those are two very similar things that I remember and now this is what we have. Is yeah, this... there used to be a Mountain Dew game fuel like citrus cherry flavor. Okay. Citrus cherry sounds nice. But game fuel sounds more energy drinkish. I think they rebranded. That's true. Didn't they have another one out there? It was like called Vault or something. Did they make Vault too? Yeah, they, it tasted they, like Mountain Dew. I'm don't know. I'm very concerned about this entire drink. I saw these; they were super cheap on Amazon. I thought I would give them a shot because I'd never had them and I didn't know there were four flavors. A, okay, so just a random thing in pouring it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I I like I love regular Mountain Dew. Like, I am an avid diet Mountain Dew drinker. I'm an avid like. All the the Mountain Dew Zero drinkers, like drinker, I love that stuff. This has a smell that's weird. Um, like, I I smell it, and there's something at the end that's just like, what is that? I mm. I like 
all the not Mountain Dew flavors. I say this every time. The ones that are not Mountain Dew, also Mountain Dew with real sugar, is halfway decent. Um, I like the one that's zero sugar. It's actually pretty damn decent. I'm not a big fan of Mountain Dew. No? It's my least favorite pop. Major Melon's pretty I'm... great, though. Major Melon was pretty great. That's true. That's okay. But out of <laughs> all pops I'd reach for, I would reach for a Mountain Dew less. I agree. I want to die, Dr. Pepper first. That's just me. Okay, guys, you ready? You ready to just taste this? I'm so yeah. disgusted by that color. I'm yeah. so just so sad you poured it. Ugh. It's a Mountain Dew color, Dave. What do you mean? What did you expect? I mean, the can's green, Dave. Yeah, like, but, but, but see, here's the here's the difference. I wouldn't pour regular Mountain Dew either. Well, yeah, but you see, green anyway. it comes in a bottle. Dave. Yeah, it comes in a green bottle though. You don't know how green. You don't it. know it's like. Nuclear. What about if you get anything? a fountain drink, Mountain Dew, Dave? This I don't do that. He doesn't. Why would I do he that? Like Coke every time. <laughs> or he, he always cracks open that can of Coke. Remember that, Jeff. There's never a can of Mountain Dew. Just can of Coke. There's always Pepsi <laughs> a, too. There's remember always... your ABCs. Always be coking. Always be coking. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna try this. Kind of <laughs> reminds me of a uh, Fallout a little bit, which is just kind of fun. All right, ready. It does have a weird taste to it. It has a weird aftertaste. It's not good. It's like toothpaste. <laughs> did, did you brush your teeth again before this? I always do. <laughs> what is... what makes it exciting? <laughs> so I know that there's a artificial sweetener in this because it has 23 oh, it grams of high fructose corn syrup, and it's like only 90 calories, which kind of throws me off. That is so really I'm gonna weird. I'm going to find it. It's <laughs> it sucralose. Does. Yeah, that's why. Okay. It's got a, This is a very long ingredients list. <sighs> Doesn't that? Oh, it's for the gamers. Yeah. How much? Ca- this actually has more caffeine than the uh, Coke with coffee. Now, if too. I decided that I just was going to sit on the couch for the rest of my life and play video games, could this sustain me? If this was all no. I all I had. No. <laughs> There's no protein. No, it's a There's game fuel, Dave. Vitamins. It's a game fuel. You have to get a bunch of these and put it in a container and put your game system in it. It fuels it. <laughs> Fuels it. Oh, we're not supposed to drink these. We're supposed to power our PlayStation Five. Yeah, th- this That's is this is how you uh, liquid cool your your game consoles. Yeah, you're thinking of gamer fuel. This is uh. game fuel. <laughs> and no, Dave, if you drank these for the rest of your life, there's no way you would be able to sustain yourself. You would I... die of scurvy probably before you die of anything else. <laughs> there's no vitamin C in it. First. Yeah, well, there's a lot of sugar, so you'd actually still have energy. You would deteriorate pretty fast. Um, yeah, and it would, because it's basically f- just, it's sugar water. It would probably just start eating away at you too. Like, like, like there was nothing else in your insides to, for it to, you know, mess with it. it. Would probably just start eating you from the inside out, basically. The same way that they had to put it in a can, not a bottle. Yeah. So <laughs> just as, just going with it, uh, if you only drank this and you didn't drink water, you'd have a heart attack first. What's pantothenic acid? <laughs> right, right in the vitamin area. Jeff's not a, a chemical engineer. Oh, I, I don't know. I'm not a chemist, nor a doctor, nor nothing of that. All I know is I know high fructose corn syrup bad. <laughs> Illegal everywhere else but the United States. <laughs> it's a vitamin B five. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, uh, anyway. This... How do you guys feel about the flavor? Like, what, what's what's the what are you thinking? I think it tastes okay. Um, as a non-energy drink person, not a huge fan. It's not it's not so good that it sways me. That sugar-free drug rug that Jeff and I tried earlier on the channel, like, tastes like a blue raspberry pop. It was kind of good, like, legitimately good. This kind of just this, tastes this like a took like a... like a crappy Mountain Dew. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, if somebody took like an old Mountain Dew and mixed it with half, like half regular, half diet, and like let it sit out for a little <laughs> this, bit, this tastes like a flat Mountain Dew. You're right. I was yeah, trying it's... to nail the flavor. It's a flat Mountain Dew. Yeah, it even it doesn't even have the bubble feel. Like I don't have the urge to burp at all, and I'm just like, what is what is happening? The like there's there's like no bubbles. There's definitely still like carbonation. Like it doesn't. God, it's kind of weird. Like it's not. You're right. It tastes flat, but it's not flat. Yeah. Like somebody had Mountain Dew and regular or in Diet Mountain Dew mixed it and left it out, and that's the flavor you're getting. It's weird. I I don't know where they're going with this. Um, down a down a dangerous like, road of things that people will continue to buy for no apparent reason. Because branding is powerful and it's very cool looking 
can with a very cool name. It was so hard to open. I don't I don't even understand why we open them this way. I figured it yeah. out. It makes sense to me now. You got to be cool. Yeah, you got to be cool. Anyway, I wouldn't recommend these. We have three more flavors to try here on the channel. Hey, maybe the other one. flavors are good. I don't remember. They're just all Mountain Dew. They're just regular Mountain Dew in a can. (laughs) They're all just going to look like this green color, and they're all going to taste the same. That'll be the question. Do they pour the same color? We'll see you guys in the next video if you guys are excited to see what the heck that's like, trying this disgusting, not good energy drink. Uh, Subscribe to the channel. Sorry, Mountain Dew. I like a lot of your flavors. Pepsi Company, really. Uh, But not this. This is not good and i'm just not going to give you give you this you know benefit of saying there's somebody who <laughs> likes this there's nobody who likes this come on you know it's there, true there's somebody who likes this there's somebody who's sponsored who likes this yeah yeah professional <laughs> gamers who are sponsored to say they like it the reality is the professional gamers would never drink this because it's <laughs> terrible for their health it's actually making my stomach a little upset <laughs> Already, it's like something's weird here. I ate uh, I ate Mexican last night, so that's gonna be a good combo. Mexican <laughs> Christmas beer, and now this. Let's see what that does to oh my, my stomach. The rest did you of the guys, day. <laughs> did you guys notice the part of the can that's black? Is 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 uh, has a feeling to it, and oh, they they, like, yeah. they analyze they <laughs> they say it's a tactical grip. It's a tactical grip. It's so in your grip, and it doesn't slip out of your hands if your hands are sweaty. <laughs> so, so they thought of that, <laughs> but they couldn't make the can easier to open. I feel like like the sugar free monsters t- should add that branding. It's it's got a tactical feel. That's my favorite thing about those cans. We're gonna try those only on the channel at some point, just so I can actually taste if they're any good. Guys, thanks for watching the Snack Network. Subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. We're on our way to sixty nine subscribers. Maybe we're already there. That's, Probably not. <laughs> that's our next goal. Sixty nine. Sixty nine. <laughs> Beverage bodies with dry drinks. 